Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, oh my goodness, if you guys have just seen the Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer, it was absolutely awesome. They showed us so many new features in there, so many new guns, so many new perks, lethals, tacticals, game modes, score streaks, specialist character abilities. Oh my goodness guys, this is gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm really looking forward to this game. What I'm gonna do right now is after watching this Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer, I'm gonna break down sort of the general stuff the guns that we're going to be looking forward to, the perks, the lethals, everything that I just listed in detail, you're going to know every single one. And so let's jump right into it. Obviously, we'll jump right in here for the general. If you look right off to the side here, you'll see you have the ability to have four score streak slots. Your ability is shown in the lower right hand corner, the ability that comes with your specialist character. You will be able to sprint to slide, the sprint to slide ability that we saw in Ghosts, in Advanced Warfare, and other Call of Duties. Black Ops 3 is introducing underwater gunfights, which means that you will be able to now fight other players underwater with your weapon, which is going to be absolutely insane. There will be no panic knife. It will take two hits to kill someone with a knife, which a lot of people are really, really looking forward to. The paint shop will only be available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And the PC version will have dedicated servers and an FOV slider, which are two huge things that the PC community I know will be looking forward to because I'm a PC player and I am really, really looking forward to them. Of course, the big news that we learned last night is PlayStation is now the exclusive platform for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which means that as you guys know, before Xbox got all the premiere access to the DLC one month before everyone else, now it's going to be PlayStation. PlayStation will also host all MLG events. All MLG events for Black Ops 3 will be held on the PS4, which is going to be absolutely awesome. So jumping right into the gameplay here for the Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer, I'm going to list off all the guns in order of appearance in this multiplayer reveal trailer. First, we have the Man of War, which is an assault rifle. We have the KRM-262, which is a pump-action shotgun. We have the Annihilator, which is the Seraph power weapon. We have the Locust, which is a bolt-action sniper. We have the VMP, which is an SMG. We have the Sparrow, which is the Outrider's power weapon. We have the Shiva, which is the semi-AR. We have the MR6, which is a semi-pistol. We have the Weevil, which is an SMG. We have a Spider, which is the auto pistol. We have the Skith, which is the arm turns into a minigun power weapon that we've seen on the Reaper. We have the Vesper, which is an SMG. And last but certainly not least is the Tempest, which is the laser electric weapon. Yes, I do believe Black Ops 3 will be returning uh, laser pointed weapons like what we saw in Advanced Warfare with the EM-1, the EPM-3, the AE-4, weapons like that that will be able to shoot lasers or electric beams. For perks, I have all the perks that you guys are going to need to know in the perk 1 category, 2, and 3. For the first perk category, you will have the option of choosing Flak Jacket, Blind Eye, Ghost, Blast Suppressor, Afterburner, and Overclock. For the perk 2 slot, you will have the ability to choose Hardwired, Scavenger, Fast Hands, Tracker, Anti-Up, or Cold-Blooded. And for the third perk slot, you will have the ability to choose Engineer, Dead Silence, Awareness, Tack Mask, Gung-Ho, or Sixth Sense. For the lethals, you will have the ability to choose between a Frag, Semtex, a Thermite, C4, Trip Mine, or Combat Axe. And for the tacticals, you will be able to choose between a Concussion, Flashbang, EMP, Smoke, Trophy System, Shock Charge, or a Classified Weapon, which we are not aware of yet. Currently, the images that have been linked to the internet show a classified image in the bottom part of the tactical screen which implies that we will be having a tactical ability that we are unsure of yet which is really really exciting. The four game modes that have been verified that will be in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer are Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint, and Capture the Flag. Obviously we can make the assumption that we will also have game modes like Free For All, Search and Destroy, game modes like that that have been in every other Call of Duty but we have not you know confirmed them 100% yet but there's a very very strong likely possibility that they will be in there. Unknown if they will return game modes like Momentum or Uplink from Advanced Warfare, or game modes from other Call of Duties like Team Defender, we'll have to wait and see. These score streaks that will be available in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer are really, really exciting. Guys, as you can see, the picture on screen is a little pixelated, so I did my best to sound out everything. In order of appearance, we had the UAV, the HCXD, the Dart, Care Package, Counter UAV, Lightning Strike, the Talon, Cerberus, Wraith, Raps, Combat Robot, and the Mothership. It is unsure of whether or not we will have a nuclear or a DNA bomb, anything along those lines. We do know, however, that we will have things like Bloodthirsties, Mercilesses, Brutal, stuff like that, because those medals were popping up in the multiplayer reveal trailer and in gameplays that are now popping up on YouTube. One mistake that I did make in my previous video was that the Nomad is actually going to be the specialist character that we know of right now and not the Ruin. I called it the Ruin in the previous gameplay. That was what it was currently 
rumored to be named. It is not named that. It is called the Nomad, which will have a hive for a power weapon, which is a pod trap that releases a deadly swarm of nano drones when it's triggered. This is really, really exciting. We could be seeing the return of the swarm from Black Ops 2 in Black Ops 3, which would be really, really awesome. The swarm was, of course, as you guys know, the most powerful scorer streak in Black Ops 2, and seeing its return in Black Ops 3 would be absolutely awesome. I also have an image on screen here of the vision pulse ability you have while running the Outrider Specialist character. It's very similar to the threat detection from Advanced Warfare. You can see enemies through walls, probably last for a very short time, but nonetheless will give you much more map awareness and much more enemy awareness as well. That is all the information that we got from the Sony PlayStation Conference. If you guys are excited for the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3, please be sure to smack that like button. I really would appreciate it. Be sure to check out also the multiplayer reveal trailer if you have not already seen it. A link to the video will be in the description below. Be sure to also subscribe to my channel. I bring you guys tons of Call of Duty content and we'll be bringing you guys tons of Black Ops 3 news as the time goes on. Be sure to also check out all the link in the description below. And until next time, everyone, keep gaming and as always, stay cool. Adios.